got to the camp of the National Democratic Congress because a flag bearer uh, has given a firm assurance of putting finality to the disturbances between the people of Fulani extraction and farmers in the Afram Plains area. Well, governments have tried um, unsuccessfully to find a lasting solution to the problem which has led to some death and injuries in the past. Here's a report by my colleague, Kamala Kluche. The fall has been a crisscrossing for John Mahama in the Front Plains constituency. It was a massive show of display and love for the NDC leader. Hundreds of supporters with salute road and boats and canoes showing avowed support for a leader they say will redeem Ghana. The party is optimistic their dominance will not win. In Donkokrum of the Afram Plains North constituency, the Farmer Service Centre and Mechanised Agro Processing Zone was topmost and major sticking point. In Mamikrobo, the NDC flag bearer regretted how the MPP abandoned what could be a major game changer and a blow up of the area in terms of business development and growth. NDC Bridge no air priority, a baby baby shame ya ye. Send a baby a baby ha, a baby ha ye a one fast one mine. If you say I will share it, you are near ye do a gana ha. Don't wanna every a friend please sir. The entourage then moved to a betty fee. John Mahama also campaigned in prior so. Don Mahama's final stop was in the Inkoko constituency. <laughs> made a clear call for a change to reset, reset gun from the clutches of the MPP. Right, so that was from the camp of the largest opposition party, the National Democratic Congress. Our man on the ground, uh, Kamala Kluche, we're going to touch base with him right now. Kamala? I can see you sweating where you are. What's the political atmosphere there like? Well, the sun has been burning the whole week that John Mama has been out here in the Eastern region. He just arrived a short while ago in the Upper Manya Kobo constituency, or what what we normally would know as the town of Akisawa. It's quite a very packed day for him. It's the five of his campaign here in the Eastern region. He's been doing uh, we started off with the strongholds of the MPP. Did about two days of that. Then he came into the strong part of strongholds of the NDC. Entered again into the strongholds of the MPP, and then now is beginning to wrap up with the areas that are believed to be the strongholds of the NDC in the Eastern region, consolidating the game count, converting to the people to be able to solidify the numbers because that's basically what it means to be able, you know, to secure the mandate of the people. If the numbers aren't there, absolutely the campaign comes to not still. But quite a part of activity for him is doing upper and lower money. He's doing this German constituency. He's doing uh, Ekefim South and North. And, and, and then another, another constituency he'll be doing today. He'll be doing about six constituencies today before he'll be wrapping up the day. The enthusiasm of the people, if you look at it, in terms of what their major issue is, the economy has played quite a part of it. Growth, a major issue. And in most of the areas we've been to, there's a farmers who are there. They talk about the fact that, you know, their produce has not been the best in recent times, especially under the current administration, because the policies the government have been able to introduce has not gone a very uh, uh, far as 
uh, been a benefit I mean, through this, the clamor for change that he had requested that John Mahama, with the four years that he has, there's a need for him to work extra hard. Pressure himself understands it's on him, but he has been able to calm the people, telling them to work along with him so he's able to reset the Ghana we want to build. Thank you very much, uh, Komala Kluche. He is with the flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress.